Hello everyone, uh, Div 3 scene particularly, really, uh, because this is your precap. I am Gunnerside with my co-host Lazra. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Uh, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. We're just gonna take a quick look at the teams and then next week's schedule, make some predictions. Uh, let's say pick three teams we think are gonna make it to the playoffs. And uh, yeah, that's that's Sounds more or less it. So first up, we have the Nordic Nubloods. This is Bainsey's Norse team. 30 and 30 mm -hmm. TV, but is it really? Because he's missing one of. Yeah, he's got a legend as well, so it's a bit of a bit of a lean 1300 TV. If I yeah, correctly. he has an um, one of his berserkers is MNG, and uh, that's true. It is a very weird berserker, berserker, isn't it? Yeah, it's an odd one. I mainly looked at his um his record. He's lost more than he's won, which is you know a bit rough for the Norse team that's played that many games. I mean, yeah, but then again, with a berserker like that, like, what even do you do with that player? Because it's a palm, strip ball, leap, agi 4 berserker, which is arguably one of the weirdest players I have seen in my entire life. Yeah, it's, he couldn't make up his mind. I don't know, it's a, it's a tough time to roll the agi that far in when you've already got the, when you've yeah. already got the Mybo piling on. No, the, the weirdest Mybo part... Piling on, and then a strip ball. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's very interesting. The weirdest part is he didn't take Agi, then strip ball. No, he went strip yeah. ball. He knew he knew he was going to get the Agi. He was he saw it and thought, right, this is how we're going to go. And then he found the Agi up just in time. Yeah, and that then, is. But if you look at it, I don't know. It's quite a beat up, quite a beat up Norse team. Oh, it got is a lot of really Agi beat up. downs. You've got an AV. This the this all stuff we've been talking about is AV six. His best berserker is MA5, which and means G2. he's not going to be able to get around and hit you that hard Jesus. on turn one. This team is so beat know. up. The, like, here's yeah, what I, I don't mean, get. What's the, the strength two that, lineman be loving this. What is the strength two lineman doing on this team? Yeah, I know. But, you know, maybe he's not playing like super hard to win. Oh, maybe yeah. He's just having, he's having a good time. I mean, last season, I was in the div with a dwarf team that had an AV7 longbeard that had sneaky git and a death ult. <laughs> and they they lost every game, apart from one where they pitch cleared metal twice. It was <laughs> hilarious. So, uh, we'll see how we go. It also ended metal's playoff run, which was actually hilarious. As oh, well. that is was such, great. That was an interesting day. Anyway, so yeah, no, there's potential. I don't think it's top three or like top five, but it could just ruin somebody's day. Yeah, if I the, mean, le if the legend fires and the Agi Four just does some nonsense before getting removed, I can, really uh, I can get behind Not, some, you know, mm, teams who don't try too hard, but you know, put up a good show. And I think this team might yeah, put up a good show. It's got potential. Absolutely. I'm not trying to diminish like the coach. I'm not saying he's a bad coach or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, he's got quite a rough team to work with. He's yeah. not got a lot of utility. There's one tackle on the team against a lot of very tackle. elfy division. Technically. Two ta oh yes, two tackles. Although yeah. one of the tackles is on the lineman, so... Uh... He's got a good yeti, though. He does have a good yeti. That is so a very solid yeti. He should be able to punch back quite hard against, say, like the Nurgle or something. Because I think, I think some of the teams like the Orcs and the Lizards are going to look at this and think, this is just SVP. Right. You know, with the AV9 is going to... The yeti is going to be key, I think, to how yeah. he does. If the yeti fires in the important games, he could... Easily, like you know, maybe maybe challenge go challenges, but it would have to be a pretty dream season. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, people like the bash teams might might take a look at this and go, "This is such a you know weird team. I'm gonna be easy." And then the yeti comes in, turn one kills your black. Yeah, orc, exactly. And you cry. <laughs> yeah. Just demolishes like three seasons worth of development on a black orc in like one hit. Yetis uh, do that. Yeah, it's beautiful, my blow. Stand uh, firm. Yeah, no, it's a good yeti. I'm looking forward to seeing some highlight plays from these guys the actually the actually four leap norse is just so left field that people might not be able to play around it yeah I, it's not something you expect when you play norse that reminds me actually guys if you um make some you know crazy plays something really noteworthy that you want the rest of the division to see and uh, shiver in fear at the thought of happening to them uh, tell me and i'll take a look at the replay uh, record said interesting thing and then I'll put it in the next recap. I think that would be interesting. Yeah, exactly. If you've got someone like I've, I'm known for throwing bounties around. I mean, I bounty one of Metal's players for 15 pounds last season. Oh, so hello. Like, 
If you've got anyone you really want dead, I'll have a look and be like, well, if it benefits me, I'll, I'll throw a big <laughs> bounty on it. We'll, we'll see how we go. Never got claimed, sadly. Never got claimed, but no, it's... I'll have a look. We've got a good name, because we're both in clan name, aren't we? We should probably have a look for some, like, well-named players who make, like, good plays. That's, that's a good idea. Maybe. I keep, mean, keep, this, keep, a, keep, a, keep a lookout. This team has an, uh, I mean, sort of odd naming scheme. You have, like, Ragnar Lothbrok, which is, like, Vikings, and then you have Brandon Stark, which is Game of Thrones, and then you have Gerber <laughs> at Nexus. Yeah, well, exactly, it's a bit of a mix-up. It's a team that's gone through a lot of seasons, so it's gone through a lot of naming ideas. And maybe half these wonder, players are from the market. It clearly, he started He started with Vikings and then decided, the admins are giving me dead games and I'll lose my players, <laughs> so I'm going to name my players after admins to get them killed. So ah. no, that's one way of doing it. It's like, um, I think JJ's team, he just got a load of rebel names and I ended up killing Zunk in my game. I was just like, oh no. <laughs> Awful stuff. Right, should we have a look at the next team? I think we've, we've spent a lot of time on this yeah, first team. Yeah, that is true. We could be here Really there. quickly though, really quickly. He has a uh, referee ref area, so both teams get bribed. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Interesting. He's yeah. going to have a lot of inducements to play with as well, so he can yeah. induce some dirty players. That could be a good way to get some points. Uh, speaking about the Black Orcs though, here's the Orc team. Dazzle Wasters by an organized crisis. Oh, look mm. at that big guy. It has strong arm. <laughs> strong what arm, is... and he's got a goblin rostered. He's got a 12 player team. With a thrower and a goblin, so this is a, this nice. is a very threatening. I don't know. I, when I see an orc thrower, I always try and find who he's going to be. Who's going to catch that ball? And it's probably going to be his movement seven. Yeah. Blitzer. Man. But it's... apart from that, like, mm, how much value is your thrower going to get? I mean, he picks the ball up quickly, but I we'll see. I think it's definitely you know. I've seen better orc teams <laughs> in my time. Oh yeah, I mean. I don't think he's going to be too offended if we say that, but I'm telling you, Agi Orcs are making some kind of, you know, comeback because I'm seeing all of these, you know, Orc throwers with, like, accurate, and I, <laughs> That's like I that don't get level. it. <laughs> like, this... Agi Orcs are making a comeback. Oh, I've got my Agi, I've got my thrower to level 2, I'll give them accurate. I don't think they're quite making a comeback yet. I mean, Agi no. does make the Orcs team no. so much better. Last season... Um, there's this guy with an orc team, he has a thrower with strong arm and accurate, and I'm pretty sure he had Agi if I remember correctly. It was the weirdest yeah. thing. He yeah, well it just adds that extra, it. it's another thing to think about when you're playing against them. Just looking, he's got another good, a block troll, big guys are really good so far on this team, we've got block, stand firm. Um, the black orcs, you've got diving tackle on the black orc. Yeah, that's interesting. That might be a miss, that's either a misclick or a meme, one of the two. Uh, I sort of, in a Cause... way, get where he's coming from, but also I, do, I don't. But not on your, not on your movement four piece. Right, right. I don't, I don't think diving tackle on movement four is. He's, that he'll great just roll an doubles idea. and and get yeah, jump up. Ro <laughs> yes, that's true. You could do that, or you could just have the, the. Well, picture it as like you know, turn what turn one, and you're defending. You stick a troll and you're diving tackle. All of a sudden, the elves can't do can't dodge <laughs> away. <laughs> Is a diving tackle, right. so it could work. It's got niche uses, definitely. It's got it's a good amount of guard. Um, Morgal, the level six blitzer, is probably the star player on the he's, team. He's impressive. I don't know. Stand firm. I I think I would have taken either pro or juggernaut there, but right. Stand firm is definitely a choice. It's fair. I guess he's going for the. Well, he's got guard, so I guess he's going for the. I'm gonna stand in a line, and you're not gonna be able to knock me over or move me for five turns. Seems like it, it's absolutely. It's a classic orc play, and he's got the troll, so the strength 5 is there with guard. This could be tough to get through. Yeah. It's uh, going to be hard to control. It's going to be hard to control this team. It is a good team. Isn't it? Alright, so I have never actually played orcs in my life. Am I crazy, or do they roster four blitzers? Like, you can have four blitzers, right? Yes, you can have four blitzers. He's missing one. Something we're missing here. He's missing a blitzer, and he's got a goblin in place. He's got 50k in the bank, so maybe he's saving for that fourth blitz. So maybe he died. Probably. Um, he's a bit got a bit unlucky with his um linemen. I guess they've been stealing some MVPs because they've both hit level three. Yeah, looks like he's it. He's got the two dirty players and the two blocks, so they're quite versatile. But you're really hoping they don't. They might have taken a few MVPs off this team, especially like if you got one rookie black hole, that might have been a death. The other blitz, your blitzes aren't super developed, so maybe it's just been a case of you've had a season of lineman MVPs, which 
isn't great. Yeah, especially they're on both, They're both block dirty player, especially on ults. But he's got a bench, he's got a goblin. He could throw, do some one turn stuff. He's got st strong arm accurate. It's definitely, um, you're going to have to think about, like, it's not just your standard orc team. It's got a lot of a little bit of variety to it. You're gonna yeah. have to think on your feet on your on your attacking drive, because there's a threat of a one turn. So your whole game plan is completely different against your normal, non one turning orc team. Yeah, I'm just true. excited to see the goblin score on turn 16 and ruin somebody. I just think it's gonna be very funny because it's probably gonna be me. Organized crisis. I don't know. We'll if see. you win by chucking a goblin, tell me please. Yeah, we need to see that. We need, I, we to, need that. to know. Um, I think I think it's yeah, it's a good old team. It's got it's got potential. I don't think it's top three because there's some good teams in this division. There but are. I think I think there's definitely potential for you know midfield with this you know eighth seventh sort of position. I I think Maybe, you're right. I think if yeah if you can get. Uh, your microphone went real weird. Just a heads up. This is odd. Uh, can you hear me? Osra? Just messaging him now. Um, this is odd. Well, I guess technical difficulties on... Real quick here. Uh, apologies if this makes it in the recap. I'll see if I edit that out or not. Okay, am I back? You're back. All is right. It, is it better? It I is. I was just rambling. Ignore me. I was just rambling when I don't have much of that. It's to fine. It's fine. No worries. Um, right. This team. Last thing to note is that it has a uh, magic dome as its club thing. So that's cool. That's a fairly neutral one. Yeah. I guess it's because you don't you don't want the rain really, do you? With it, you don't really want. You don't want the ball to be hard, any harder to pick up than it already is. Usually you'd rather so, have rain than a rock killing your black orc, but... Well... I don't know, do you want, do you want... I think you don't want a blizzard either, I mean it's rare, but you don't want a blizzard because you're slow. You don't want... You don't really want... Well, swimming heat's okay for you, I don't know. It's a good... Is it, maybe you just had bank and you wanted to sink his bank before something bad happened to his team and lost two players. I, I guess. It's either way... Terrible, it's, Either way, let's try not to get this uh, pre-cap to be like two hours long uh, and move yeah. over to the Clotmore Rams. This is HUD's team. Mm -hmm. Ah, hello, a Chaos team with no Chaos Warriors. Yep, this is pretty standard. Uh, All my Chaos games I've played in Rebel have been no Warrior Chaos. Really? So far, they're not going to be getting it and there's going to be another one here. Yeah, well, JJ did it. I played JJ. I've only been here for one season. I was oh, sort of okay. exaggerating a little. But yeah. It's, I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? I feel like I've been talking too much for the last two teams. I mean, I, I'll i be honest. I've never actually played against a, a Chaos team with no Chaos Warriors. Then again, I haven't really played against Chaos that much in like the three seasons my, uh, my team has been in Rebel. There's been like one Chaos team, I think. Maybe zero. So, yeah. Uh, what do I think of it? I think that it has a minnow, which is interesting. Not sure how big of a fan I am of that, but it's a good minotaur. It has, like, block and claw, so it's, like, a pretty good piece. Yeah, it's also good for the fluff, because you need it's a beastman team, so you need the minotaur there. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You, got, you can't forget that. It's got block, block claw. Yeah, it's a good beast. Another good big guy. It's three for three on the good yeah, big that's... guy. A good big guys in this division. Other than that, he has this movement busted uh, claw palm guy, which um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about. I'm what I'm guessing he's doing well, is you're not he's... about you're not about to fire him, are you? No, so you're, you're just not. sort of waiting for maybe maybe one of the the just block ones to develop a bit more. Right, so maybe replacing him. Keeping him around. He's only got he's only got nine. He's he's got ten rostered players at fourteen hundred TV, so he's keeping it very trim. Yeah, I mean, or uh, maybe his players died. One of the two. Chaos teams without claw, uh, chaos warriors are very trim. Is that yeah? And you sort of do have to lean a bit more towards Aji when you don't have those strength four on access. And he's done that. He's got the um, 
actually four sure hands kick off the turn. So he's got a really good ball carrier basically to yep. make up for the lack of. He's got a good sacker, got all the sacking skills lined up. He's only actually three though. Yeah. Um, you pray for so no... a double so you can get like leap and then very long legs and then you start leaping yeah. on the uh, three plus. Or you can do what JJ did and roll two Agi ups in a row so you can get an Agi <laughs> five wrestler. I think the last time I looked it was Agi five wrestler. Oh no. That was Chubster, that was Chubstep the goat. <laughs> so he just throws him in, gets the sack, so yeah. You do need a bit more agile though, because then you don't have the strength. You have strength on the blitz, but you don't have strength for on on defense, which can get a bit tough. Right. Especially with these bashy teams and the, some of them bashier teams. I don't know, it's such a weird, it's a weird strategy, so it's quite hard to say whether it like, what, what he's aiming for, what's, what it's good against, what it's bad against, because it just hasn't seen many games, mm -hmm. and it's a very... I don't really know what to make of it so far. I'm sure I'm sure Hurd knows what he's doing. He's, he's a household name, he's a good coach, so I wouldn't... Or well, again, I'm hesitant to call it a top three team, but it's definitely going to be up there, it's going to be competing. Yeah, I mean, it looks interesting. It has, you know, good doubles on the block on the Minotaur, it has, like, Agi on the ball carry, which is great. It also has two doubles on two of the beastmen, uh, giving him, um, how am I forgetting the name of this skill? I have it on my team. It's I'm going to say diving tackle. tackle. <laughs> what? We... Yeah. I'm tired, or guard. It's guard, if you've forgotten guard. Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> uh, you yeah. just saw it on a black or last team. Oh, no. I must really be tired. Listen, um, I'm, I just came back from, like, a four-day hike in the mountains. I am basically dead. <laughs> uh, either way. Oh. Diving tackle on beastmans. I, I mean, what else do you safety. really take on doubles? I mean, I guess there's dodge, but you don't really want dodge. Diving uh, tackle is good. I'm trying to think. A leader. <laughs> you don't really uh, want leader on doubles, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's been so long since I've played chaos. So the chaos get me? Do they get mutations on yeah, doubles? Yeah, they get uh, general strength mutations on normal. Okay. Yeah, there's not too much you take. Diving tackle's fine. Yeah, to maybe there's counter some... the elves. But so there's some actually five in this division, so the diving tackle's gonna come in a lot of use probably. Diving tackle and agi five, it's still only a three plus dodge with the agi five. So more mm. often than not you're just gonna end up with your beast on the ground. That's true. Shows it goes to show I play I haven't played with much diving tackle. I thought it was a flat four plus no matter what the agi. Uh, no, it's just minus oh. two on the uh, dodge roll. More you know. Any closing comments, or should we keep things keep nope. things ticking along? Looks uh, cool. looks decent. I'm curious to see how they do. And we have Gerber. This is a Bretonian team. Knight Juggler is back. Yeah. Interesting. Played this team last season. Oh yeah. No. Uh, yeah, if I remember, I can't remember the game. I remember I I gave up two serves and still managed to win thanks to <laughs> one turn. Skaven, so, yeah, it's Skaven will do Skaven. It's classic Skaven, you're going to see a lot of that. You're going to see a lot of me playing badly and then getting points for the one turn uh, to save the game. We'll see. Anyway, to Gerber's team, yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's a standard prep team. I don't know what else to well, add. It's not good. You say standard, but is it really that standard? Like the... It looks... It, yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to stick out on a limb and say, yeah, you've got your guard your guard that you need on your wrestlers. You've got a bench. Got dirty players. I mean, the dirty bench. players. Uh, yeah, got a three-man bench and dirty player. You've got pretty normal development on your. I know he, he lost metal kill with his blitzes. He, they had a game where there were like three or four deaths in. Uh, he was also in my div last season, so he's been. It was a bit of a rebuilding job, I think. For, so that's why his blitzes aren't all, all right. that yet. But you don't really want. Brett, I don't think Brett's are a team that want massive blows unless it's in the form of stats. No. Because you know you want to. You want to really. I don't know. I haven't played them a lot. But you gen I generally play an inducement. You get a couple of skills on your blitzers, get some guard, and then you induce the players that you need to win the game. Oh yeah, I mean I agree. But you really want, you know, dodge and sidestep is usually the two big that ones true. on the uh, blitzers. And he only That's really true. has one. He only has one player with dodge, you know. Yeah, he did have. Um, if I remember correctly, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he had a. He did have a good blitz, but he got um. It got, I think it got strength busted or something, but he played through with it, it was like a mighty blow piling on or something, a good blitz. Oh. I think he's finally, he's finally bitten the bullet and gotten rid of him and given, and gotten Trice Juggler in. That might have been an off-season acquisition. No market being used, so he's, hmm. 
I just don't want to write Gerber off because I know that he's good at the game. Oh, he's so. really good. He's like, it's a, it's a stat, it's a pretty stacked div. You've got some really big names in this div. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, the rest of his blitzers are looking like all, all yeah, right. Yeah, fairly. I mean, fairly mighty blow tackle. Just, a little, just all right. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing jumping out at us and screaming. Look at this player. Right. It's just a well put together Brett team. It's about the idea of TV for Brett. It's about fifteen hundred. That's where you want to be. So you can get a wizard. You can get a star player or two yeah. against the. There are some bigger teams. I think there's. Don't know where they max out, but there's definitely some 17, 1800 teams. So, he'll be looking to get wins every game. Yeah, I think he's going to be top six. I I I'd agree. Because um, this has really good potential. He's got the three man bench. He's got two dirty players, which is pretty big. Because you don't you, you don't even need drives that badly then, because you can just keep battling. You've got enough. You've got another dirty player in case the first one gets sent off. Three man bench. Yeah, it should be it should be really good. I'm looking forward to seeing this team play. I think it's going to be a good season for him. Especially if, as long as he can keep, as long as he can just not lose his blitzes like he did last season, then I think he'll be in a really good spot. I mean, that's quite an obvious thing to say for a Brett team, but especially for Gerber because he had such a, he had a bit of a rough time last season. Just don't blitzes, lose your hopefully. good players, and you're good. <laughs> yeah, just, just. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pretty mundane advice as we get through. Anyway. Closing thing is that he also has a, um, he doesn't have an enhancement stadium. All right. Okay. I could swear I saw a magic dome. I think I'm being blind. Uh, right, next team. This is uh, Masterful and his Blood Design. He was in my division last season. Mm -hmm. This is the um, the Hemry team with the stupid throw rust. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty special. These guys. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, that basically describes this team. Uh, I mean, the Tomb Guardians are. He has one really good one, one decent one, and two rookie ones. Because his Tomb Guardians are really good at dying, um, as Tomb Guardians tend to be, really. Mm -hmm. uh, his Blitzers are... they're alright, except for the fact that one is MA busted, which is not great. Yeah, but Classic Plan is very true, you know, he's got all the skills already, so... He's right. got a definite potential there with his Blitzers, they're, they're very good. Probably won't tackle, but sure. And then, then you have the Throw Rods, right? Um, yeah. Which are actually pretty crazy. The, the, the odd part is that it's sort of difficult. I think he has a hard time deciding who he wants to carry on. Um, yeah, I agree. I'm pretty sure he carries mostly on the strength 4, if I remember correctly. Which means excuse me, that the Agi 3 one is sort of... Well, it's not that good. Well, yeah, because it's interesting that he's given him accurate on an Agi 2 team. Yes. That's... I don't know. I don't think... I. I do disagree with Akira there. I mean, it was on normals, clearly, but... Well, actually, who are you I'm... passing it to? I mean, unless you're throwing some punts on his Kemri and you want that accurate punt. I, I, I think I'm wrong. I think he uses the Agi 3 thrower to carry, and yeah, then the sense, yeah. Strength 4 is basically like a blitzer who's Strength the busted. Ba yeah. No, I mean uh, <laughs> the AV busted. busted. Yeah. yeah, an AV busted blitzer. Right. Uh, so yeah, this is I basically think he, got, like... he, got, he did get a bit unlucky with his level up rolls there, if you look at it. Because he, he was clearly... they came a bit too late. He got the strength after... He got the strength and then movement. Oh, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough when you get strength on your thrower. Cause it's like, especially on Kemri, because they're really just going to carry the ball. Right. So he's he's basically... yeah, he is the movement busted lifter. He's got an MA up though. And a strength up. So it all evens like, out. You're trading. You're trading. And well, other than that, uh, his skeletons, he has one dirty player, um, sneaky git one, which I've been trying to get him to fire for, like, <laughs> an entire season. Um, yeah, well, you know, it's got the, it's, it's, if you're going to get a sneaky git, you might as well get it there. I'd love to see some sneaky git getting used for a good effect. So, uh, yeah, Masterful, I'm pretty sure Chug Man Milk told you to fire that thing the entire season. Now I'm your recapper, and I'm going to tell you the same thing. <laughs> Fire it. Keep it. Because keep it's, it. It's no, bad. it's good. It's, it's bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's also good at the same time. It is not it's, good. It's... What is good, though, is the guard. I've seen worse. Though. Yeah, the guard one's really good. Wrestle skeleton. That's just fine. What I don't know. The wrestle. I guess he's starting the Buddha Saka. Saka skeleton. Give it give it tackle. Then you've got the skeleton safety in the backfield. That'd be interesting to see. Uh, pretty sure that's what the thrower is for, but. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have wrestle. He doesn't have straight ball. He's strength four and tackle though. That's yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing a lot of sound, but 
Either way, he has a um, magic dome uh, in the Ismuth thing, which is standard for him. Mm. Shall we take a look at the next team? Yep. Which is uh, Galar Death Grips Jr. It's Chug Man Milk. Hello, hello. Uh, you recapped me last season, now it's my turn to uh, throw oh, abuse at is, you. This is an exciting team. This is it is. everything you dream for as an Underworld coach. When you finally get. Your blitzes have finally gotten through to claw my blur piling off, and all of a sudden it just gets so much more fun to play. You know, that's, that's like impressive, his blitzers. I uh, I killed one of them at the end of uh, last season. My high elves. So there must so there's a market buy then here. Yeah, I If you killed him yeah. at the end of last season. Pretty sure Ktaf <laughs> hasn't been yeah. there uh, before. And yeah, that's his, really uh, his troll keeps dying. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But he says it's bloat though, so. Yeah, I agree, I agree with it. Really? Being bloat. Once you get past, yeah, well, yeah, you've already got, what's, what's the, maybe tentacles to keep people in place, but he's just a robot, really. You throw him in front of some strength four and see how he, see how he goes. That's my experience with him anyway. It's a bit sad that he's got his um, thrower. It's, the debate is what, what does he do with black quarterback here? The edgy two thrower, but he's got mighty bloat. So how long you, do you keep him? How long do you keep him for? Because oh, he loves that piece. I'm pretty sure because it's like I, it's I don't really know why. Normals. It's because claws on normals. So yeah, he's ten SPP away from getting a third blitz. Getting to yeah, third claw mighty blow. But the question is how it, like it's going to be a little while to get because you're going to be blitzing with get got and the other blitzer most of the time. Yeah. So and he's not he's actually two, so he can't really pick the ball up or pass or score. So the question is, where's the SVP going to come from? And it's probably going to be from against the Agi teams, trying to get some sacks from the Agi teams. Right. We'll see. But that's going to be a battle for this season, trying to trying to get that claw going, so you can basically get a third blitzer, which is what you want in Underworld. I mean, because your blitzers die. <laughs> they <laughs> they do. get killed. You say that he's going to blitz with the blitzer still, but they don't have any tackle. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the thrower is only mighty the... tackle. So, so he's probably going to. Mm. That's what I'm saying. You'll probably try and target the Agi teams quite right. a bit, or the, yes. at least the AV, yeah, the Agi teams, yeah. stunned teams with a black quarterback to try and get him some levels, and then keep him trying to keep him alive in the bash game. So let's say, let's say, imagine if you know he comes up against elves or Skaven, and then the player that he his tackle player gets MNG'd the game before, that'd be a disaster for him. So that's it's going to be a lot of management around that player, I think. Mm -hmm. this season. Other weird thing is mm -hmm. that his sacker got Agi busted, which makes him the yeah. worst at his job. Yeah, because you can't really cut corners. Yeah. The RG2 is such. Even with However, two you do have the makings of a Saka Underworld Goblin with un two heads wrestle. It's true. Which arguably is with Stunty. Stunty two heads. Basically, that's a Snotling that's high strength. It's a strength of Snotling, which is really, which is surprisingly good. The amount of shenanigans you can get away with. All he needs is maybe, I would probably give it a strip myself, strip ball. Oh, yes. Because you're only ever going to get red dice, so you really want pushes to be a positive result. Yes. But it's definitely, it's. I really want to. If it's not, if. Mm, I'm basically thinking, can I give this a top three? I really want to give this a top three. He this did is, really this well. Is the ideal, last this is the ideal underworld team, pretty much. I mean, you've got a little bit of, a little bit of bloat, but not too much. You've got all your pieces are online that you want to be online, so. Yeah, if, if there's going to be a season where this team just runs away with it, it'll be this season, I think. So yeah. I think this could be definite challenges. I mean, he definite did get challenges. to the um, to the Sippy Cup last season. Yeah, exactly. I think it's, yeah, and especially with the Tier 3 teams, Sippy Cup's probably, you know, Sippy Cup's basically your playoffs, in my opinion, because it's like, you don't have the consistency that Wood Elves or, you know, Nurgle have or something, so you can't uh -huh. really... Secure unless he gets very, he could get really lucky. That's always a chance. He could do a random boy and just, you know, not roll really stupid, get all the knockdowns he needs and removals. Right. We'll see. Could just yeah, definitely kill a strong team. I think, I think this definite sippy cup. I put him in sippy cup. I'd probably go buy a stock in this team actually. After. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably will actually. This is a really good team. I'm gonna oh, buy yeah. stock in it once. It once, is a good uh, team. I'll probably sell look lazy stock and buy it with. <laughs> 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 well, that's what he gets for going against the rules and playing early and then losing. <laughs> so, uh, it's true. Wrong, wrong div, wrong div, wrong div. Right, Sorry. Right. Keep it on three. Keep it on three, Sue. Exactly. Uh, club. He has enough assault altar, which is good. Good. 
this would the be. The Toxic Avengers. This is Zombane's Nurgle. This is a Eurogamer team that's come all the way through. Um, honestly, it's a bit. It's not very. It's not got enough guard for my liking. To be honest, I would have definitely gone. You've got one claw mighty blow warrior. I probably would have just gone guard on the others. I don't think you need that much mighty blow on Nurgle. Yeah, I, I just, so. I just, <laughs> I hate like super killy Nurgle so much. Like well, this yeah, team cause... doesn't. I I doubt it's gonna win very many games because it doesn't yeah, have stuff like tackle. It doesn't have you know guard. It's got so a it doesn't what... have a wrestle tackle. I, yeah, it does, but only one tackle, right? And it's not a mighty blow. Yeah. What this team is gonna do is it's gonna lose a bunch, but kill a bunch as well. I think. Um, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think I don't think there's a single team that thinks that looks at this Nurgle team and thinks, oh no, because Nurgle they need a freak goat. Most, all the best Nurgle teams have a freak like Adri Fort goat that just runs and sacks and does ridiculous. I mean, you saw the Super Bowl final right. where there was just a freak goat that just did everything. And that's what they need. They need that extra dimension. They don't have that. They've got no st no stat ups in the goats. They've got a wrestle tackle, which is okay. They've oh. got a ball carrier goat. But nothing's screaming out. This is a this is a team defining player on yeah. the goats. Uh, uh. The warriors are very very mighty blow heavy. Not much tackle. Very little guard. We've got two guard from Nurgle. So foul appearance is going to have to do quite a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> when these, let's say he locks in with some Saurus or something. Who's got more guard than he does, and more so maybe even more strength. I mean, he's going to struggle against the orcs and the lizards. And those are the teams that Nurgle wants to target. So it's. Mm. It's not looking good for Zombain. I mean, I love the guy. I mean, he's a, he's a decent coach, but I just don't think that this Nuggle team's quite ready yet. I mean, next season, when it's three Claw Mighty Blow, and maybe you've got a bit more guard, <laughs> you know, and maybe... What's his name? Drax the Disease. That's a good name. Drax the Disease. Um, maybe he freaks out and rolls doubles or actually four. Then all of a sudden, you've got... It's starting to come together, but I still think it's one season off. It's one season yeah. off being good. Uh, I agree. And I think a lot of teams will try and target him for points this season. It's going to be tough for him. The rookie Pestigore exacerbates the problem. Yes, because I agree. They are so bad. I mean, if you look at well, it, well, they're on f they're on five. They're on five. So he just needs a vanity pass for them to get in. Right. It's Nurgle not the end. Vanity passes. That'll be the day. Hey, don't don't disrespect a good Nurgle vanity pass. I played them in CCO last season. I'm sure I got at least half of his ah. vanity passes off. To the to the frustration of the opposition coach, but yeah, yeah. a Nurgle little team like this is really like wonky. They can win, yeah, because sometimes yeah, like, Mighty yeah, Blow you... just massacres yeah, so exactly. so bad. Let's that... say let's say he goes up against those poor Norse and just rolls all the armor dice he needs. Then yeah, it should be a W for him. But yeah, he needs Mighty Blow to fire, yeah, in a big way. And when it doesn't, he's definitely not going to win. Yeah. He might draw, but he's not going to win many games. Mm. Sorry, Zombie. I feel bad because he's a Eurogamer coach. I feel like I'd be nice to him, but <laughs> should have should have should have got more guard, mate. Sorry. Well, you went with Nurgle, and I mean, you don't really expect Nurgle. You stuck to be with good, it. It's so. it's it's a yeah. journeyman Nurgle team. In two years time, in two seasons time, not two years time. Two please. years. Uh, two. <laughs> might two be two seasons. years. It's Nurgle. In two seasons time, it's yeah, it might be. But in two seasons time, if he sticks with it and doesn't lose too many warriors, it could be a real threat. But at the moment, it's just not quite there. Right. Just not quite there. Right. Uh, oh. what elves? First elves so far, looks like. Pity. Um, is this, yeah, na is this natural talent we're looking at? Dark this stars. is uh, natural talent, this is dark stars. Yeah. Wait, he is in my... Real quick. Never mind. Um, yeah, interesting team. Yet another weird big guy. This tree has pro. With pro? Instead of block? Yeah. And so, yeah. I don't mind that because no. he's strength six, so I think that's a good pickup. Uh, usually he's gonna be throwing three die blocks, anyways. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Pro is pretty good. Uh, other uh, than yeah, that, I like pro. That's a very good pickup. That's that's a that's a nuance nuance pickup there. I like that a lot. Anyway, I, sorry, carry on. I was just saying these war dancers are interesting. Um, they are. I'm gonna start with Spruce Willis because he's the least complicated one to talk about. He's a war dancer with Mighty Blow and Tackle, which is great. Uh, every yeah, team should idea. have Mighty Blow. And then comes... you almost you almost don't want him to level. You almost want to keep him nice what? and trim there, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, as what else you basically you embrace the, the blood. 
<laughs> this is coming from your uh, Wood Elf Wood Elf clan coach next season. So ah, yeah, that's. Yikes. I'm sure it's going to be a learning process, definitely. Won't be too bad. They're Dude, only Wood a little bit slow like... in this game. Yeah, you take the profit, I guess. Ignore me. It just shows that most of my commentary is just going to be like fluff and questionable, questionable choices. Anyway, looking at the rest of the team, the other the other Wood Elves is looking good. I like the names. I'll be honest. Yeah, they the are other very well named. The other word answer is so odd, honestly, because he's movement plus two, which is obviously awful. Then he has strip ball edgy, which is fantastic, because edgy. Then he has mighty blow. And I can't help but wonder if he should have just skipped mighty blow. I wonder who rolled mighty blow first. That's a good question, if actually. If Keanu leaves us the first one to roll mighty blow, then, you know, it's a debate, isn't it? But yeah, I agree. I think it could have been another skill. It's odd. Then, you know, you take a, a, a look at the rest of his team, and there isn't a whole much there, is there? I mean, he has the players, but not really the skills. He has block on one of his catches, which is alright. Guard on one of his catches guard. is, is pretty that's great. Quite big. That's pretty good, actually, yeah. But that player doesn't have block, which is less great. Then he has a thrower with um, leader and Throw block. Leader block. So he's not really looking to do the whole uh, passing game thing, which is understandable, I guess. Then he has. He's only one SPP people. away. He's one vanity pass away from that level, though. So That's we might true. see him pick up. Maybe I we'll see. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. We'll see. We'll see how he wants to go with the team when that fella levels, because it'll be there'll be a lot of skills he can go for, and we'll see which one he takes. It'll be interesting. Right. Right. Then, uh, then he has some some linemen, uh, dodge and one, a wrestle, dodge one and a wrestle one, which is pretty good. But not much more. He's got a bench. He does have a bench, which is interesting for Woody's. He can take some hits. He can take some hits. I think that's probably what he's thinking. I doubt we're going to see any Wood Elves foul in this season. <laughs> uh, another boring mistake from there. I mean, uh, I for seventeen hundred, but... if you had, if you said, let's build seventeen hundred Wood Elves, how do you think this would be a good? Would this be what you went for for your seventeen hundred TV? I think it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's and in a perpetual yeah. league, that's probably pretty much because you're never going to get the perfect team. Right. Actually, people are going to get injured. So yeah, it's in a really good spot. It and is. I just like Agri teams. So I think this could be. This is a. This could easily be a top three team. Yeah, I, I tend to underestimate Woody's. Maybe it's my well, highest he... bias. Probably. Probably. Well, they should. What they one turn fairly easily with the cap three. You've got grab on the treatment, which helps the one turn even more. It's true. Um. Cool catches. Yeah, it's it's, an inter it's just can the catches survive and get to block or get to blood step or something? If they can do that, then this could be a playoff team. Mm. We'll see. It depends on his schedule. It depends on his schedule, I'll say. I haven't looked at the schedule yet. But if it's a bash heavy schedule straight up, he might lose the support for his war dancers. And then all of a sudden it gets a bit ugly where his war dancers are having to save every game. I don't know. Could be. Then again, there isn't a whole lot of tackle going around, so. Uh, that is true. We haven't seen a lot of tackle, so yeah. Having how many dodges is this? One, two, three, seven dodge, eight dodge. It's pretty good. That's that's, that's good dodge. He's basically actually four Amazons, and Amazons are pretty good. So yeah, definitely yeah. a great playoff team. Yeah, you heard uh, of it first. I think this team will go pretty far. What what else tend to? Yeah, what else are good? Two one ones. They're good. The injurious bastard to this poor ends lizardman team. Yep, another Eurogamer team. With all the TV on the skanks, why do they always do this? Um, yeah, that is one very a level five skink and a level four skink. Oh, oh Those are some odd skinks. But let's start from the top. He has a Croxigore, yeah. which for once doesn't have he a does. double. I know he's probably the worst big guy in the league. He poor is. guy. Uh, but don't worry because he has a new one. It's the yep. strength of Saurus with Ball. That is really good. Yay. <laughs> uh, that is impressive. And then the rest of his Saurus. I'm going to be going after that with my Blitzers. That's, that's I absolutely really good, should. I mean, really that is a piece. blight on this earth. I might bounty that piece straight away, actually. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Are you going to bounty that, that is... piece and not the Agi 4 skink? Or the. Yeah, like, I mean, he's a skink. He's going to die anyway. You need an incentive to go after the AB9. Yeah. I guess you're Especially right. Especially if you're... I don't know. Yeah, that's seriously good. It makes up for the lack of... It almost makes up for the lack of developments on his Azusaurus. Two right. Azusaurus. 
not great. Um, Again, a lot of Mighty Blow and not a lot of guard. Yeah. If you look at it, he's gone Mighty Blow first on at almost every single time he has. Yeah, he's gone Mighty Blow first whenever he can. It's for the so... tackle one. Which is like, I see people do this quite yeah, a bit I because don't... they're so slow to level. Yeah, I do agree, but I, I, really, do, I really think that Mighty Blow on the tackle should have been Break Tackle. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, just all the time. I think yeah. you only... You only need really maybe one or two mighty blow at least to start off with. If you want more guard, but I didn't follow his team last season at all. I, I watched it. He did really well in the Eurogamer competition, but I didn't follow it in uh, season season eleven. I know that skin got Agi up when I when I played it like half a year ago, and it's still alive, which is really annoying because I thought it would have been dead by now, but it's not. Maybe that means he's been apoing his skinks. Who I, knows? I recapped Eurogamer, G man. And did you? Yeah, I did. And I don't remember any of these teams. Really? I don't know. I think that's because I played them. That's probably why. Well, because we're all in the same picture. I remember I was running. I was running one reroll Nergu that started with three Pestigors and three Chaos and three Nergu Warriors. It was an interesting one. Oh, there were so many Nurgle teams. Like it was. It was weird. It was, like, there was like four Nurgle teams in the top seven. Uh, all right, guys. You guys get to play a team for one season. What are you gonna play? Nurgle. Nurgle. Nurgle is good <laughs> in a, their first season. It's a, it's a four game round robin. <laughs> no, it's a four game Swiss, sorry. Um, so, yeah, let's go Nurgle. It shows in Lizards and stuff. Anyway, back to the Back to the team, yes. Recapping, yeah. This could be a three hour recap. Yeah, we are 40 <laughs> minutes in and, like, oh my we've God, done half the teams. Um, yeah, Skinks. We haven't even got to my team yet. Anyway. Agi 4, Catch, whatever. It is a one turning beast, except that it needs permanent. Um, yeah. yeah, I I don't know. Like, are we sure about sprint with Agi Four? I'd I'd have taken. I don't well, actually know. It's that's sure. you know, I forget with Skinks they don't. Skinks, do Skinks get normal access? No. To general skills, I don't think they do. They do not. So it's kind Only of hard to build a sack of Skink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what I think about so much team value on Skinks because it's like Skinks yeah, don't win you games. I agree. It's usually Saurus. Yeah, it's, it's all right, thing. Uh, it's definitely. It might work out though. The sure hands yeah, block skink is a thing. That is a good skink. That is the skink keep. That's that's made. Yes. I don't know. Do you give APO rights to that skink? I think I'm you not. do, because one I of the things we have struggle with is stuff like strip all leap elves. Yeah. Like for example, a war that's dancer, cool. leaps yeah, in on a three plus. In, in actually in five war dancer with. Yeah. <laughs> Has yeah, no, strip ball, you usually get two dice on your balls because this team has one guard, and then you know, you're yeah, basically okay done against, for. It's okay against the Agi, it's going to really struggle against the Bash, it's going to struggle against the Orcs and the Nurgle, yes, because I there's think, just not yeah. enough guard there. But then again, this is maybe there's just no guard anywhere, so all of a sudden it's <laughs> fine to not have any guard because nobody else has any guard. <laughs> yeah, that might actually so, happen. Yeah. There's no guard, so. Basically, this means that his Saurus are now vulnerable to the Underworld team and anything with Claw, because you only need one assist. You know, you can set up Blitzes really easily against Saurus without guard, with your Claw, Mighty Blow, piling on piece. And there are a few of those in this league, so it's going to be a rough one for Sporan. I think he's going to... I don't think he's... I think he's definitely going to be a bottom half team. I don't think. Especially if the Skinks die. Right. And they might well die. I think he's going to struggle. But we'll see how he does. It depends on the development, obviously, but... Interesting thing. Yeah, to I think know. he's gonna struggle. Not enough. Not enough guard. Not enough guard. He has two, Only two guard rolls stage. and no leader. Well, that's true. I guess. I but guess that again, sort of makes of up his, for the super Most skins. of his sores have block at this point, so you, you, you're not gonna roll that many one and nines. Right. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, this team would be so bloaty with three rerolls. Yeah, and well, yeah, games. if he had three rerolls, he'd be one of the biggest teams in the div if he had another reroll. How much are rerolls for Lizards? Well, 20. 60. Well, 120, yeah, 60 but 16. Yeah, now, again, so. it, it would be six, 1600 Lizards with two rookie well, swords. One of the Skinks is MNG'd, so it's more than that. It's like uh, 17, oh, 50. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you're right, it is. Yeah, good luck, Sporan, mate. You're going to need it. <laughs> good luck. Cool, right. next team, moving on. Let's try uh, and get this under the this, TR. Oh, oh, high Elves, yeah, it's it's Mr. Leibniz in his Discord. I like High Elves. Yeah. I will root for this team. Uh, no bias, though. Uh, no, bi no bias. No bias. I mean, uh, my team is in the division, so there's going to be some bias either way. I, yeah, you're probably right. 
And it's an interesting team. Um, he has the Mighty Blow Blitzer with Tackle Massive, and yeah. Large Step, which is great. Then his other Blitzer is like pretty good. And then his thrower is... Okay, it's it's alright. I mean, really? It's just, he's, just brought, he's just been unlucky. He's brought normals, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, high elf throwers really, really need either Agi 5 or strong, strong Arm. arm. Yeah. Otherwise, you're often throwing your throws on a 3+, plus, which sucks really yeah, bad. Yeah, He does, however, have an Agi 5 lineman, who is level 6. He's got Blodge. Another sure hands. He's got two sure hands and leap. But sure hands leap. I'm really. Mm. This is the first time I've looked at this team. It is scary how similar it is to my high elf team. I have that exact <laughs> lineman, except that he doesn't have block. He just has agi dodge sure hands leap, and it's a beast. Because what I did. Yeah. Let's see if he did. It's the perfect same. retrieval. No. He doesn't have a wizard stadium, but what you do he, is yeah. you wizard it, and then you have an agi five. Leap dodge sure hands player, which means you basically always get that ball back. Yeah, and his sack his sack is in the works. He's got the movement line capture with wrestle, so he's getting there with the sack. I don't know. It depends yeah. how he goes because now it's movement nine. So you think, oh, that's a, this is what you know. You start you start to look at things like sprint and think, oh, uh -huh. maybe. Yeah, he went sidestep. I, I, I personally, yeah, I personally would have taken. Uh, I don't. This problem, I don't know about the game. If he gets in any normal roles, that's definitely probably tackle or strip ball, and then he's got a really good for the catcher. Really good. S yeah. For yeah. He goes strip ball, you then he goes tackle. Make him a, I think you make him a sacker, definitely. Yeah, because he's yeah, got I the retrieval. So. If he didn't have, if he didn't have the lineman, then maybe other stuff. But then you've got that. He basically picks up on picks up anything on a three plus max with le leaps in, leaps in. That's two plus pick up. Three plus. Oh no. Re -roll is like one and, one and nine on the pickup. Dodge out, throw out. Yeah, well, it's really good. Depends game. on how many tackle zones it's in. If it's in one tackle zone, it's still a three plus. Yeah. This is a really good. It in is, short, it is. this is a really good team. But it lacks yeah. a couple things. It does. Mostly, it, it really lacks, I think, three things. It lacks a proper thrower. And with yes. that, I mean his thrower needs agi, strong arm, and at the very least, block. Um, in fact, I'd go as far as to say that if he doesn't get a double or a G5 on his next level, I'd even consider recycling him, depending on how he decides to play his Hiles. Because I know some oh, yeah, Hiles coaches... Sack him because, yeah, because it's a wizard, if you think about it. Yeah, so, that point. exactly. Some Hiles coaches don't uh, do the passing game too much, so they might be fine with not having strong arm or something like that, but I know I can't play that way. Other well, thing he lacks. he's giving him accurate, so you like the dink he's going for. Though. Yeah. Going, he gives him accurate. In theory. Okay. But some people take it as an emergency. Uh, other thing he's lacking is an actual proper sacker. Because just yep. a wrestle catcher isn't the proper sacker. Like, no. this this team is high TV. It may not look like it because the number says it's 1680. But you add 100k because of the guard line, but that's 1780. Then you add 140k from the catcher. That's like... 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, right? It's pretty, that's, I think that's, is that the biggest in the division? That might very well be the biggest in the division. I think it is. This team is not getting a wizard. No. So you need and another way to get the ball on the ground. Yeah. And the spiraling expenses mean it's probably going to be difficult to get to the wizard stadium, which would be a consideration if you had, you know, the cash. Right. Because that sort of makes up for your lack of a sack rip half your games you get a free wizard but i don't think that can happen really yeah it's a struggle he doesn't have a bit. you're right in short but yeah i think uh, the rest of his team is looking really nice he has the guard on the catcher which isn't great because catchers need to be protected at all costs but you know guard is guard uh, that catcher is here for a good time not a long time yeah um, yeah exactly i mean he's got blodge so you Which know, is a lie. A um, not a lot. <laughs> there, there is, but there's not a whole lot of tackle in this league yet. Right. There's a little bit of tackle here and there, but your tackle is going. The tackle is going to be going after that Agi five PC, not the problem. Who is not Nickled. the guard? You know what I mean? That's true, actually. Yes, he is. Yeah, definitely. In that case, all the tackles going on that. Everyone wants. Everyone wants a piece of to Bite the dust. And you know he has so, a guard like that. We'll see. Uh, I think this is a. Yeah, two guard. Two guard is very strong. Is a he just needs that wrestle. Team. He just needs that sacker. If you can get that sacker, this team becomes yeah. really good. This and then team dodge like... on the mighty blow catcher. Hmm. 
Yeah, Blood Step might play. Yeah, that is a really good team. Yeah, if he can get that wrestler stun height, if he can just get himself a wrestler, I don't know how he'll do it. Well, he has the wrestler, he just needs to strip ball and attack. Yeah. Or We'll see. We will see. Yeah, indeed. it'll be. Can he get enough? Can he get enough wins before he finally gets the Saka? Because once he gets the Saka, I can't see this team losing many games. It is all. a really good team, but you know, elves have a tendency to either do really die. well or all of a sudden die. You know. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, he's armor eight, so they're, you know, they're not the they're not the most British elves in the world. Yeah. There's a loss of mighty blow though. <laughs> There's there a is. loss of mighty blow as we discussed. So. We'll see. Uh, your team now. Oh god. Under yeah, Sartosa Blood Bowl Association. Uh, yep. You haven't fired that lineman yet. No, I haven't. I like the kick. I think the kick's worth the blow. In my opinion. I think it's good. I fired my thrower. I had a thrower that was like level three. I'm talking <laughs> my about. My team value was like 1700, so I sacked him. Oh, well, that's pretty insane, but uh, I'm talking about the movement busted lineman. Oh, yeah, well, he's MNG, isn't he? He's... No, well, he's, he's not an armor bust, bust, is it? No, it's movement busted. Yeah, but he's fodder, isn't he? He's just gonna stand there and take a hit. Yeah. He's, I don't need... If he was armor or strength, then yeah, he's out. But okay. movement... Sure. I think he'll survive. I'll j he'll just go on the line. He'll be Fair. fodder for all those really good big guys. Um... And you have the natural one turner, of course, uh, with a mm -hmm. second one being in the works. Yeah, I don't know how far down the one turner tree I'm going to take. Cut that. I don't know. It's one of those. I have to think about it. You don't want to spare one Because I've already got a really turner. good one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like people so. are going to be. I don't think so. Throwing. I can, only have, I can only score with one of them at a time. People are yeah, going to be throwing people at your natural one turner until it dies. Yeah, like, but I've got a bench, so he's going to be on the field for like seven turns, probably, tops. Let's say, let's, let's say I defend first, he goes on the bench, he comes on turn eight, that's one turn. And then, yeah, he might play the second half, but that's only half a game. I, I'm, so, I'm He survived last season, and he had the bounty on him all season, and nobody killed him. They cast him once. That was it, so I, I'm confident. All I'm right. saying right now, he's not going to die. I need He'll to survive. make an audio clip of that. No, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. Trust me. Sure. All I've right. got too much to worry about. I've got good. I've got, got a good load of other pieces that they have to worry about. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna die. He'll live. Trust me. Watch him die game one. I'm going against. I think my first match is against the Nuggets. So. Oh really? Yeah. It's perfect. So it's true. Well, uh, Storm Vermins. This is. Yeah, pretty ideal Storm Vermin. Yeah, they are. I, I like them. Really nice. Um, guard maybe lacking. Yeah, I've struggled. I haven't rolled many doubles on my linemen, and I don't really—I'm not a fan of guard storm vermin. I don't like. Okay. You know, they're there to hit and run away. Yeah, one guard would be good, but I'm not. Can't have everything you know, in life. You have the natural one turners. Yeah. You have the I've got a natural one turner. I've got claw my eagle, but yeah, I've got two. I've got two moving ten. I've got a bench of skaven. I don't think I can really ask for much more. It's a pretty good team. But will it make? Will it? Is it a top three team in your opinion? I'm gonna say yes because it's my team. It's and Skaven, it's team, obviously. Yeah. It's not. It's not just Skaven. It's Skaven with a natural one turn. Like, of course, it's gonna do well. Like, <laughs> watch I'm, me. Watch I'm, me go. Like, I don't know, five, five, five or something. I'm five, telling five, you, man. Skaven are the best team in the the game. Yeah, they are. Need that. I need that crutch to make up for coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, you've hired me now for your clan, so, I, so now it all comes about how bad I actually am. It's good. I've got people like Metal and McNugget who can say how good I am, but I'm actually not that good. We'll Wait, see. hired? Am I paying you? Well, yeah, you recruited me. You took me over, what, like five other people in that recruitment channel. I think that's just because I, I, was, I was the first one to respond. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I, so I got rid of my wizard stadium as well, because oh, I was really? going into playoffs. Because I was playing lizards in playoffs, and I was like, I don't want to give the lizards a, one a wizard, so I'm going to sack it. Really? And I lost the game. Yeah, it was a questionable decision. It was a questionable game. I didn't play very well. So yeah, I'm going to be feeling that this season. But hopefully I can keep it nice and trim. I got rid of the bloaty thrower. I got, I'm got. i probably going to... The moment another lineman levels up, like, okay. I'm going to get rid of oh, the yeah. kick dirty player lineman. That's another 50 TV off. Uh-huh. 
So yeah, I'm confident. I think I'll get a wizard from this through quite a few games and do quite well. Uh, it's a good looking team who is, you know, really low on the TV scale, really. Yeah, sneaking in. It's quite, it's very, it's, it's trim, is what I would say. It's very trim TV. I am a fan. It's good. As the, the Sacker, I, I really like Sackers. They're nice. Yeah, well, you can never have enough. You can never have enough Sackers. So I know um, Rex in REL runs like four Sackers pretty much. Because you've got actually four. So as long as you, if you run four Sackers, just keep throwing them at the board until something sticks. Right. Just need to leap that thing now. Yeah. I'm hoping for one of the Sackers to roll actually five. <laughs> but then I can just like. <laughs> That'll then be, that the be the dream. That, <laughs> that would be hilarious. That'd be amazing. I don't know. If I have actually five Sacker, I don't know how I ever lose a game apart from like. Either I get diced or I just really play badly or the opponent plays really well. Anyway, enough about enough about me. I feel very self conscious talking about my team. Should we ah. carry on? Get, right. this under, get this under the get this under the three hour mark before the sun goes down. I'm trying to find a Merc uh, with athletics in the um in the thing. Give me just a second because the uh, team finder is so <laughs> I misspelled athletics. It's athletic, singular. Yes, I I uh, spelled it athletics, not with an H. Oh, nice. Yeah, I... I did spell that out for you. There we go. Found it. So, uh, Ooh, this team was perhaps. also in my division last season. How do they do? Uh, not great, if I remember correctly. Um, what div was this? Where, what, which div was this? 4D. Chug but Man they promoted Mo anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean... I, I don't want to be throwing shade at people because I honestly, I, I'm i not super nah, let's do it. Let's aware. Just, let's just antagonize all our coaches. <laughs> no, I'm double checking it now. <laughs> Merc with athletics. Wow, I'm actually, I am throwing shade. They got four. Fourth oh, out of 14. Great. That is actually that's pretty really good. good. I, th I think I mean, they just four, had... But yeah, it's good. They, they had a really bad beginning of the season, I think, was what happened. But mm. then that's the only thing I remember. So yeah, because this team is is good. If you look at it, yeah, it has really it has an Agi four blitzer. It has this developed, excuse me, a tackle F dodge, um, diving tackle blitzer, which is nice. Then it has this like nice. interesting thrower that, at the beginning, wanted to be a high elf thrower, but then went sure fit. <laughs> yes, he has. That that is a decision there. I want like, to hear the thought process behind no, that. No, I get it. I do. Because, like, I play high elves. You will not believe Yeah, you want you them. want to turn that long pass into a short pass, don't you? Yeah, you want to do that. And all, often, you have to do one or two GFIs. And then, obviously, sure feet. It's great. But you know what would yeah. be even greater? Dodge or block. So he actually lived. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And then it's the rest It's going to be hard to... It, yeah, because... Some, you don't always want to score in two turns. When you want to stall out, you need those oh, technical yeah. skills. Like, he's basically saying, "I'm going to sack you and score, and then go two nil, uh, two nil on turn ten, and just win every game." That's, uh -huh. his, that's his game plan. That's I, what that skill says to me. Yep, I think you might be right. And the rest of his team sort of reinforces that. Like four mm. catchers, like keeping those things alive, is a nightmare. Like I know this is this is this is a very this is a very well developed pro F team. It isn't. This is, they've survived very well. It isn't well developed though. Like it, well, they're all still here. They are. You know, you look have at the pro teams, whereas like four or five pro elves on the road alone is. That's T cell, but uh, this pro elf team, like catchers, pro elf catchers, and high elf catchers, aren't good out of the box. They need dodge. No, they need block. True. Yeah. One of these four catchers has both of those skills. Like, one of them is movement, though, so that's a one. Oh, yeah, that's though. that's great. I mean, movement on catchers is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, the catchers they they really do need some of that development because you don't. I mean, the rest mm. of his team, he has a bunch of TV on linemen, and he has a second thrower. Which he does have a I, second thrower. <laughs> I I don't get it. Why people right. do this? The backer. I don't know. I agree. I think it's an it's. I know. I don't know. I don't mind a bit of development on linemen. Three wrestle. That's pretty good. Two yeah. move, the two mover bus sucked, and I think you'd fire the wrestle dodge now because he's dodging, but he's going to move five squares. You do not fire is... him. I think you I do. I don't think you do. 
You put that guy yeah, on the line can... because there's like zero attack in this division and you lock <laughs> That's true, that's true, I guess, yeah. Because I you don't care if he dies at this point because he's movement busted. Yeah, he's fairly resilient for a path, I suppose. Yeah, you're right. Like I forgot about how little tackle there was in this game. Having, <laughs> having basically blodge in a division like this is worth gold. It's well, great. yeah, because, yeah, I agree. I'll take it back. I don't know. I just... I don't mind the kick though, the wrestle. I think one level is fine on lineman, personally. I mean, I lineman think... can do work. Like, having development when on lineman elves, isn't they're an all issue. Actually four, so they can all make a play. Yeah. But he really needs the development a lot more on players like his catchers. Yeah, and he is now in. It's not like he's in Div 4, where it's like pretty chill. This is Div right. 3. You've got some actual. You've got some coaches who are actually trying to win yeah. some games here. So, like, the development is going to be hard to come by. There's not much tackle, so all these elf teams lacking development have potential to get their development right. because they might survive a bit longer than our, on average they would do. Let's say if they were spinning, spinning in CCL, you know, you'd, you'd really worry about this team. But on, in this div, there's good potential. Do you think this is a top three team? No. Yeah, not yet. I agree. You think it's just challenge this team? You reckon they'll be in? They, I think they might be in contention. Yes, I think so. Yes. But I would also, I think personally, I'm going to put this in the bottom half of the div. I think they need a, they need another season. I mean, I think. the thing is that On this the is. I agree. The catches are too, they're just a bit raw, they're not there yet. This is a pro elf team, which is relatively low uh, TV, with this agi 5 player and a movement 9 player. Mm. It's, if it, if it has There this, are like, some blowsy teams in this division, as we've seen. Yeah. So he's probably going to get a wizard in enough games. Yeah. So. And. Elves with a wizard, especially IG5 elves, should never be underestimated. This team can make it to playoffs, but I don't think he wants to. Because yeah, that's true. That teams, very true. I teams agree. in playoffs, they will have tackle. Like uh, yeah. I think the the orc team I played against Excess, I think it was in the playoffs this season mm -hmm. with my hives. He had an orc team with eight tackle. Oof, I, I wanted oh, to die. That's a that's a dwarf team with strength four. Yeah. Awful. Um, Oof, in playoffs. Movement. Need a, like this this you, sort of team doesn't players. cut it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> do you reckon it? Interesting question. Though, do you reckon it will cut it in challenges? Because I haven't seen much challengers play. Uh, I've not watched many of the games. Uh, yeah, me neither. So, because I was away. From I don't know where the teams it. are. I feel like the, I feel like even challengers is too much for this team at the moment. Might be. I think they do. They need another season. Maybe maybe go. I don't know. They'll probably stay in Div three no matter what happens because of rerolls. So, not quite the season. Bomb half, bomb half finish from that Philippic, in my opinion. I think there's not a lot of tackle, but there's just too many better Agi teams in the div. If there's you know what I mean. one like, other good. Well, actually, yeah, but you've got the Wood Elves, you've got my team. Yeah. So I, I think, I think they're gonna struggle. That's my. This, might. You might not agree, but I think they're gonna struggle. No, I think you're right. Although I wouldn't say bottom half. I'd say like middle of the pack is what I'd say. You gotta be careful though, if you say too many middle of the pack, then all of a sudden, like, you're predicted, you know, someone's gotta be down there. Someone's gotta be 10th to 14th. Oh, and I know who's gonna be down there, by the way. <laughs> it's gonna be that Nurgle team, I'm telling you. No oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree, that Nurgle team's gonna be bot bottom. Them and the Norse are gonna really struggle. Poor, anyway. poor Zombane is gonna listen to this poor recap Zombane. and then, like, not listen to any other ones because of me. Um, nah, we won't bash it all the time. If he gets some no. about it, I'll, I'll listen. Who knows, maybe maybe Mighty Blow will work and he'll just kill a team. If he, he wins just, his he'll first just, game, he'll just... then. We'll see. Have we got, how many more teams have we got left? That's it. That's, right. it. That's it. That's it. Oh, That's my it. Oh, my God. Excellent. We're not done yet, though. We have to do predictions. Oh, no. Oh, no. Predictions. Uh, and, uh, like, I might be bad, but I, I forgot we were sort of doing predictions. Usually what I do is... um. I quickly throw together a kind of like thing where I show the two teams playing against each other, playing against each other side yeah, by side. I... That's well, that's what I usually do. I forgot to do this that this week, but I'll have it next week. Next week it's we'll the, have uh, the yeah, it, We both we both just come back off of holidays. I've literally I literally walked in the door about two hours ago and accepted my ticket, and here I am. So I'll right. show it next week. We'll have we'll have the production quality back. It'll be good. Yes, it'll be fantastic. Uh, schedule because we've been going around for uh, we've been going on for one hour and five minutes by the way. 
That's uh, good. Oh, no, that's good. Precap. You want you want the detail. You want because we want to make season long predictions. Yeah, I mean, I really like it when my recaps are really long. Exactly. Maybe Quali some quantity don't. over quality. Exactly correct. If you want to, you could just go watch the speed caps that are being done. They're like speed running the recap, so they oh, time they you. And they do like a three minute a three minute recap oh. or something like that. I know. I, I want to be guest on that. I want to have a go at that. That's ah. interesting. I want to do that. Nah, that looks good. We've gone off so, topic yeah. again. We have again. It's fine. You can cut it. Cut it in post. <laughs> yeah. Onto, if... onto predictions for the games. Predictions. First is your game, actually. Um, oh, that's a do that's a win for me. Full time. Uh, it's a no, isn't it? Probably say that. I have this yeah. bias against the Toxic Avengers at this point. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I just. Oh. I just don't. I just think. Yeah. I win. Yeah. Most of the time. He's got one tackle. And he's got one tackle wrestle. He does have a bench. So I might lose some, like, I might get fouled a bit. So I'm not going to be piling on against his Chaos Riders with my guesses. Probably. Because he's got all those Riders on standby. But yeah, no, I think it's even. Unless you've got anything other to add, I think it's just Skaven, do Skaven things. Even if the Nurgle score, Skaven will one turn him, win 2 1. Yeah. At worst, it's a draw, 2 2. But I can't see this Nurgle team scoring twice. Yet. I agree. Glard Death Grips Jr. versus Natural Talent. That is the Woodies, isn't it? Oh, oh God, I yeah. Here. I really want. I really want to back the Underworld team because I love playing Underworld. Right. But oh, just having a look. Yeah, I mean, do you, do the Underworld have a sure hands player? Do you? I. They should do. What is the team called? The throwers. The throwers both have sure. Yeah, I am. Um... Yeah, standard. Um. Yes. Yeah, I mean. Claw down the, the tree. The tree's going to be worried. <laughs> Go apart from yeah. that. Problem is, the problem is the claw is now just air against these wood elves. This is the wood elves they're playing, right? Yeah. By the way, I'm doing this on my phone. I'm not. I don't have the client open, so I'm having to look through some screenshots and try and find the teams. But it's not been great. But yeah, if he's playing wood elves, I think he's going to struggle past this man. Uh, I yeah. think this is a wood elf win. Wood elves tend to do pretty well against team like Underworld and I mean stunty-ish kind of things. Um. No, I'm gonna give it to the underworld, honestly. Uh, just the removal potential. Uh, I I think this. I don't know. I have a hard time. I deciding. think this is. I think this is a wood elf win. I don't think the underworld are gonna. They yeah. If if it fires and pitch clears or whatever, which might do. They've got three mighty blow, four mighty blow. Might if they tackle. The thrower is gonna be work. This is the game I was talking about. If black quarterback can like get 10 SPP, have a miracle game, then all of a sudden. The death grips are in for the playoffs. Like, but we'll see. I, if, it's an if important I, game. It's a very important game for the underworld. This game. If I look at they the teams, like, if it was like just two random people I've never heard about, I'd probably give it to the wills. But like, I just like. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true, actually. I forgot about the coaches as well. It's like I don't know, like, uh, Chug Manmilk. Like most of last season, people were going, "He's probably gonna lose this game." He did not lose very many games. He lost a lot That's of games. True. He has a way of like pulling stuff off, and I don't understand how he does it. So uh, probably that's just underworld job pulling stuff off. They have a good, right. I think they could do. He's not team. He no, does I, have I think I'm gonna back the wood elves. I think the mighty blade tackle. Um, that what? Yeah, that's the wood elves, isn't it? I think Spruce Willis is just gonna tear through this team. This underworld team. Yeah, good. It's gonna be a removal, but actually four is gonna win it for the for the elves. Shock. The the elves are gonna win with actually four. Ah. <laughs> no, I mean. I mean, it's, there's not going to be many players on the pitch, and elves are better in that environment. Right. In my opinion. Cool. Uh, if only the troll troll had tentacles, right? Yeah, if only. Cool. Blood to Sand versus the Injurious Bastards. This is the Henry versus Henry. the Henry. Lizardman. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a Henry win. Maybe a draw, actually. Because the LT, the skinks out, the good skinks out, so this might be a draw. But That's I think Camry will take difference. it. Um, Camry, Camry will be targeting this game as the game that they want to be winning. The lizard might get two hundred k. That's true. That's a wizard and a babe, I'm guessing. And this team could use a wizard um, yeah. because he has the he has the sure hand skink. He doesn't have the eighty four one, but you know. Um, and I, I just think the Hemri are going to like outbash him, like 
straight up. And yeah, yeah I, I, so I I agree with the inducements. It might be closer to a draw than a Camry win, but Camry want to win this game. They're they're, oh, yeah. they're targeting three points for that. So um, cool. Next up, I haven't. Have, who do you think will win? For the Blizzard game? Yeah. Oh, Camry. Uh, Camry. Or a draw. Camry or a draw. I don't think Blizzard will win. I, I do agree that Blizzard's probably... Because good. because the Camry have to win. I think that's the difference. The Camry folk really should be trying to get points in this game. So, I think they will. I'm backing it. I'm backing Camry. It might be a draw with the Wizard, but... Nah, Camry. Next game is interesting. It's uh, Night Juggler's back. Gerber versus Coffee Luwak, the High Elves. Um, oh, that is interesting. That's weird because I don't think Gerber's team is any good, but I know that Gerber is a really good coach. Yeah, Gerber is a good coach, but he's not got the team. And then we have Copy Luwak. I don't know how good Mr. Leibniz is, but I I think if I remember correctly, he got really far in the challengers. Yeah. So I'm pretty Wait, sure. Wait, so he's is this a, a two-season team then? If he got really far in challengers, how come he's in Div Three? That's what I want to say about that though. It is a lot of challenges was like Div 2, Div 3 and above if you did I think this is a one season team. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. It has had Um I yeah. think I'm gonna take I I want to say Gerber, but I, I just don't I'm think I'm gonna say high elves. I wanna I'm gonna back the unknown and go for the high elf coach, so Yes, I yeah, agree. I agree. Cool. <laughs> we agree with each other, fam fam. Hey, we got there. Cool. So, Claudimore Rams versus Darkside Dreamers. Claudimore Rams is the Chaos team, Darkside Dreamers is... Who's the Dark... Who's the Darkside Dreamers? They are... Oh, the Dark... Wait, so... we, we forgot to go over the Dark Elf. <laughs> 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 you kidding me? Okay. Uh... Alright. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is... Sorry. <laughs> very professional. Um, oh, so professional. Oh, 2 out of 5. Dark Elves, there we go. Right, now we have to go. gush we'll about this team to make up for it. Um, this is a good Dark Elf team, in my opinion. It is. I think it's pretty good. For the... Yeah. It's got a couple of stat freaks. If you want a couple of stat freaks, it's got decent witches. It's got a lot good of Good witches, yeah. I'd go as far as to say. Although, well, I mean, Mighty Blow is great, but it doesn't have tackle. Uh, then you have the Sakura witch. It doesn't have tackle witch. yet. Yet. God, the Dauntless, Dauntless Lineman. Dauntless Wrestle Lineman, that's an interesting one. Dauntless thing. Wrestle Lineman. Maybe keeping in line with Thor. That's actually... Oh, I like that. Okay, yeah, I'm predicting the Dark Elves. <laughs> if, you, if you're picking skills to go with the fluff of your team, that is automatically, like, that is very good. I'm going to pick the Dark Elves for this for this game. And I hope they do well. They've got the ingredients to do well. I've sort of forgotten my, like, predictably table in my head. But I think they'll slot in. Top six, top seven. They've got a guard. They've got Agi five. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good looking. He has a it bunch is 800... of lodge. A bitch, it uh, is 880. 1080. It's 1880 PV. Right. It's, it's very. It's, it's a lot of like. That's it's a lot. A lot of like. A it's lot. one of the bigger teams in the div. There are some bloated elves in this div though, so. There are. Hey, he probably even gets. He might even get a wizard against this high that high elf team that's like 2k TV. So. Maybe some players die, which they might because he has a bench of two, one of which is a runner. Yeah. I personally oh. like runners on Dark Elf teams, but people call me weird. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good team. He has decent linemen. His runner has no skills, which is an issue, but it's sort of made up for with the rest of this team, which is really good. Yeah. I think this team will uh, win versus the Claudimore Rams. Take a look. I mean, the Clotimore Rams are 1400, so they get a bunch of inducements. Though, well, they're not 1400, they're closer to like 15. Uh, 15, like 50 ish, because they get two players. Yeah, they get two players, two goats. Um, yeah, they only have two tackle, neither of which is on Mighty Blow. I think the Dark Elves take that. Hello. All right. He um. Peter or Lazra, should I say, is uh, AFK one quick second. Although he agreed that the Dark Elf would win this one. Uh, next up is a, a bye week, so not a whole lot. 
you talk about there. Uh, pretty win for the Dazzle Wasters of York. And then lastly, we have the Nordic New Bloods versus Mercury uh, Athletic. Uh, let's take a look at the North Ick New Bloods. That's the really beat up Norse team as they go out of the division. Uh, here we are. Oh god. It's so hard predicting anything for this team because it's such a mess. Um, I'm giving this to the Merc with Athletics because I don't see this Norse team doing well because it's just so weird. Like, the one Berserker is so beat up. I mean, the Ulf Werners are good. Like, he'll, he'll get that one. The Ulf Werners are good. But the rest of his team is basically just the Yeti. And that's it. The Yeti isn't going to do a, a whole lot against the Krolls. Claw isn't going to be a big factor. Versus the, um... The, uh... The whole Merc with Athletic thing. It's like... Yeah, I think the Merc with Athletics, with their, you know, good solid team, even though it sort of lacks development, are probably going to take this one. Um, I hope Peter is going to back, be back soon, in two minutes apparently, uh, so that he can give some thoughts on that. Um, anything else to comment on? Well... The Norse really have to sack that strength 2 lineman, is what I'm going to think about that, um, here non-binary, because he's a mess, um, like, there's, you know, a case to be made for keeping the agi buffs, the AV buffs, the movement buffs, there is very, very rarely a case to be made for the strength buffs, especially on linemen who have one SPP. Yeah. Uh, he's missing that Berserker, which, funny enough, I don't know is if, if that's negative or not. Like, it is a Berserker with Palm, which is important. But then again, that's 220k for a very confused player. That's like... That Berserker is basically a war dancer with Palm and Strip Ball, who is really slow. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna be really honest here. I'm basically still in dead air until until um, Lost is back, which is which is great. Um. Yeah, let's take a look at the, was that the last game? It was the last game, so it's not like I have anything else to talk about. Hold up, let's go back then. Teams, Nordic New Bloods. Anything to swing it in the Nordic New Blood side? Well, they can get a star player. How many players do they have? They have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in reality, they are 1430 TV versus Merc with Athletic. 1670 so in total they have 250k inducements what would that be um i don't really know anything about the uh, north star players so i guess i mean there's a case to be made for two bribes and like a babe Looking at the North Star players right now, he could get Wilhelm Cheney. Just about, which definitely is a thing. Uh, although Claw isn't exactly going to do a, a whole lot against these Pro Elves, so he could get Zara instead, who might swing things a little bit. Um, but yeah, I I just don't think it's gonna work out honestly. 
take a look again at the uh, pro world. I'm back. Oh, you're back. Fantastic. Sorry. I was really running out of things to talk about there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you can always cut the bit where I wasn't there. Yeah, I'll go. Let's get through this a bit quickly. I might need a bit of a break in between the divisions. Like yeah, that's minutes, cool. So. Uh, I just finished talking about why I think Merc with Athletic is going to stomp the Norse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to stomp the Norse. That's what I'm thinking. 100%. Uh, all right. Well, that's your prediction. That's my prediction. That's done with our predictions um, for next week's games. Three teams you think are gonna go far. Oh, you go first. You go first. I go first. I think. Um, I think Mr. Leibniz is gonna go far, which is with his high elves. He's a really nice team. He's showed everyone that he can get far because of his playoffs. No, not playoffs. Uh, uh, Pacific Cup run from last season. That would be my one pick. Other picks would be... Um, I mean... People are going to call me biased because you're my uh, co-caster, but I'm going to say you. Because I just... Aww. I might overestimate Skaven, but I honestly... I have such a hard time against them, and I think other people have too. So I think that I think your, your team is going to go far. I mean, you're, you're Skaven with a claw palm storm roman and one natural one turner with one other movement ten player it's like congrats you've won blood bowl <laughs> and then for my last team uh, part of me wants to say the dark elves but i can't be choosing three agi teams uh probably so i'm probably going to be going with um Gerber, because even though yeah, his team coach. isn't fantastic, I know Gerber is really good, and he can probably make some magic happen. Cool. Well, I think my three, the first one that I'm going to say is Chugs, Underworld Team, Black Death Rips. If you ever want to see an Underworld Team win the Super Bowl, it's going to be this team. This is a really good Underworld Team. I hope they do well. Um, my second team that I think will go far. Um, we've got some good elf. We've got some decent elf teams in this division. The strength is a bit. The strength teams are a bit here and there, but the elf teams are really good. My pick of them, and I, I'm partly doing this because I feel so sorry for missing them out. Is going to be the dark elves, Jester's team, two agi fives. Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, it's not a perfectly finished off team, but they've got all the tools they need to do well, um, and I think they'll do good, do really good. I don't know. Personal pick. I don't know what. There's not much logic there. Um, and then third, I was gonna say me because otherwise no one else would pick me. But you've already picked me, so uh, I'm gonna say Hud. I think Hud's a really good coach. It's a one of those where we don't know a lot about the lineup, like how the no chaos warrior chaos work. <laughs> um, but I think if anyone's gonna pull it off, he's gonna pull it off. I know JJ Cash made a team based off of Hud's team. So it must be good. That's my that's my thinking. And those are my three. That's fair enough. Alright, well that was your recap, G Man 3C. Yeah, it's 3C. Um, recap, recap. Precap, precap. Uh, recap will be next week, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think the rest of them will be this long. Probably not. Unless something crazy happens. Or we get really off topic. Which might happen. My recaps tend to be around this time, so well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see next week. Goodbye. Have fun in your games. <laughs>